In this video, we're going to learn how to set up the iCast Mini 4K dual channel presentation switcher with the Data Video PTC305 4K auto tracking PDZ camera right out of the box. We're going to show you the different options you have in connecting your PDZ camera to the iCast Mini and also how to set up your laptop as a video and audio source for the iCast Mini. First, let's get started by taking a quick tour of the I.O. of the iCast Mini. On the back of the iCast Mini, you'll see two HDMI inputs, one for a camera and one for a laptop. There are also two outputs, one HDMI output to any video source, including monitors and external recorders, and one USB-C output to connect to a laptop to send out a stream, like to OBS or Zoom. And then there is a DVI-P port that also acts as a PoE port for connecting and control of PDZ cameras. This is for connecting to workflows with an internet router or a PoE Plus switch that can be managed or unmanaged. There are two audio inputs for XLR. They could be either line or mic inputs. We recommend using an external audio mixer with the iCast Mini. Also, there is an audio RCA audio output. There are two options for powering the iCast Mini. The first option is using the included 12 volt power supply. And the second option is to power the iCast Mini over power over ethernet using a simple PoE Plus switch right here. To power the iCast Mini over PoE Plus, simply plug in an ethernet cable into your PoE Plus switch. And then in the iCast Mini's DVI-P slash PoE Plus port, plug in and turn on the iCast Mini. For connecting the iCast Mini to a camera, the first way is to directly connect the iCast Mini through the DVI-P ports on each device. So you would use the included 12 volt power supplies, the external power for both the iCast Mini and your PTZ camera, and then connect them using an ethernet cable. Now the second way to have the iCast Mini and a PTZ camera communicate is through PoE. And to do this, we're going to need a PoE Plus switch and an additional ethernet cable. So you'll have an ethernet cable connected to the PTZ camera, and then you'll have an ethernet cable connected to the iCast Mini, and it will power each device through the same connection that lets both devices speak to each other. So we have one cable doing the communication and the power to simplify your workflow. Now the third way is to have them communicate through IP on a LAN network. You would have to power them both with their own included external power supplies, but this is another way to do it. However, the communication for DVI-P between the iCast Mini and the PTC305 are going to be the same, whether you're using a direct connection over DVI-P, PoE Plus, or router. Next, depending on how you decided to set up your camera and iCast Mini, plug in the HDMI cable, power cable, and turn on your camera. Connect the HDMI output of the PTC305 or PTC285 to the camera one input of the iCast Mini. You could use the program output of the iCast Mini to connect to an external monitor, and you can use this to set up the IP addresses of your PTC305 or PTC285 in the next step, which will be connecting your cameras using an ethernet cable. When directly connecting your auto tracking PTZ camera to the iCast Mini or connecting the PTZ camera to the iCast Mini using a PoE Plus switch in between, you're going to want to set a static IP address for your auto tracking PTZ camera. To do that, press the menu button and then scroll down to network settings. And you're going to want to make sure that DHCP, your dynamic IP address setting, is off. And then press Enter, and then it'll reset the camera. When your camera reboots, go down to Information. And here is the static IP address of the camera. We can see the IP address is 192.168.10.100. We see that the gateway is in the .10.1 range. To connect a camera, first start by going to the gear icon in the top right, which is going to be our setup menu. Press the 
IP address of the iCast Mini network. And you're going to want to have the DHCP, the dynamic IP, off. Now, when we looked at the camera IP address, the camera IP address range was 192.168.10.100. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to change the IP address of the iCast Mini to match the IP address range of the camera. So we're going to put dot one hundred two, and then for the gateway, the gateway is going to be changed to dot one zero dot one to match what we had for the camera. And the network mask is going to be 255.255.255.0 because that's also what matches the camera. And then we're going to press apply. Now the iCast Mini is going to reset with that static IP address that we just set up. Now we're going to press the camera icon, which is now illuminated. And we're going to make sure that our interface is set up to DVIP. We're going to press scan. Now your IP address for the camera should be selectable here. We're going to press apply and then press connect. So if your camera wasn't already connected, now it's connected. If you're connecting your camera using a router, you're going to want to go to network settings and set your camera into DHCP mode on, which will turn on the dynamic IP address and allow your router to assign the camera an IP address. Select on and then press enter in the remotes and this will reset the camera. And when the camera reboots, it'll have an IP address and you'll be able to scan on your iCast mini and find that IP address for the camera. So then the iCast Mini would be connected to the LAN network as well as the camera. We're going to go back to the setup menu and we're going to repeat the steps. We're going to press the iCast Mini network and then you would want to set your DHCP or dynamic IP address on and this will allow the router to automatically assign the iCast Mini an IP address and then we're going to press apply. Now the iCast Mini is going to reset. You would go back to your camera icon, press DVAP, and, and then the iCast Mini will scan and connect to the camera in the exact same way as if you were directly connected to the camera or connected over a PoE Plus switch. To connect a laptop to the iCast Mini, you will need to use the HDMI cable. Turn on your iCast Mini, and when it's finished booting up, plug the HDMI cable into your laptop. Then connect the HDMI cable into the PC slash camera 2 port on the iCast Mini. You may notice the iCast Mini program output flashing as it detects the laptop, and your laptop will recognize the iCast Mini as an external display. Anything you have in the external display will play on the camera 2 slash PC source of the iCast Mini, including mirroring your desktop or playing slides or videos from a PowerPoint or ProPresenter presentation. In the next tutorial, we will cover how to use auto tracking on the iCast Mini, as well as how to set up presets and use the PIP or picture-in-picture -picture function.